Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game 3. We just got done watching a very weird Game 2 where Beast cannon rushed his opponent and said, yeah, that was pretty cheap, and just left the game. So here we are in a Game 3. I'm Infinity Gaming's Morse. I'm joined with Infinity Gaming Shadow. We're bringing you the action from tonight's Bronze, Silver, Gold B-Team Open. And this map is in Tomb Valley. We do have our Protoss player, Beast, chilling here in the bottom left-hand side. And up in the top right hand side we have our Zerg player Hydra. Bam! Look at my GSL camera tricks. I'm not that good. I <laughs> wish I could, but uh, yeah, checking out your vision kind of gives me, I don't know, it gives me motion sick. I, I don't know why. It's because I'm like everywhere. I'm like, oh my god, look at that, and that, and <laughs> this, and oh man. I thought I was bad. Uh, both players going for the wrong spawning point for their uh, for their first scout however uh, beast will go ahead and scout up first just because a probe is you know a lot faster than a overlord it does move at 2.81 versus the five point point five nine, nine. <laughs> so we will see beast go ahead and scouting out his opponent correct the second time around it looks like now a drone scout from high drop which that's heading in the complete correct direction which I guess he'll see that the Overlord sees nothing at the natural. Or no, that's technically the third up, up there, I guess. We do see another Forge Fast Expand coming down here from Beast. Which, definitely not the first time we've seen a Protoss, and definitely won't be the last time we'll see a Protoss do that. He's gone for it every game. This is correct, and... And it's worked I, out well for him. Yeah, it works out well for a lot of Protoss. We do oh. see a drone getting caught right there between a bunch of probes. And oh, man. He couldn't move. So first blood going to a probe. Where is that probe? I'm trying to actually find the probe that got the first blood. Where are you, hero probe? Hero probe. It's trying not to take credit for it by being so damn hard to click on. For those of you that don't know, if you ever get caught in a situation like that, Click a mineral patch. The unit will... Uh oh Oh, these are some fast lings. I wasn't even paying attention. Pressure oh, is hi. on. There is a cannon behind the main. It is going to stave off um, some attack on the workers, but... But there's nothing else that can be built at this point. There's three gateways on the way now, but it's going to be a proxy gateway. There's nothing other than the cannon to go ahead and defend the base for Beast. There's just the cannon... And he can't build anymore because the uh, the forge was taken out. There are several blings just knocking at the front door now for Beast. We'll see if uh, Hydrop actually notices that there's no production buildings whatsoever in that main. He's totally in the dark. He is, and the pros will go ahead and get a nice little surround on that uh, cannon, but not a good enough one. The uh, blings are still attacking the cannon. The cannon will clean everything up, though. That was a really good wall by the uh, by the probes right there. There's still more links waiting at that front base. Only two workers lost in that exchange, too. That's a very, very good exchange for Beast right there. Especially considering he is going for the proxy gateway. And he's also chrono boosting out one of those gateways. So we'll have the Zealots in half the time. Oh, no. I drop think he's just... He's got to think that he's just, like, on the king of the hill. Thinking that I, he caught his opponent off guard and that his opponent's just stuck mining. But you'd think at some point you'd see him trying to drop some pylons and get some production facilities out. And uh, he's going to find out soon enough that there are production facilities for the Zerg as four zealots are getting ready to march right on in. Overlord does spot them. They're running straight up the ramp into the main with not even a queen to defend. Just a few lings going to be spawning here in a few seconds, but two lings cannot hold off four zealots. They just die too quick, and the zealots have too much health. We now see the all the drones from the main base, except for one that's mining minerals, going ahead and pulling out here. And the zealots are just now rushing into a main that is only defended by a queen. The queen does get taken out. So we got pressure going on from both sides here, and actually no pressure right now from Hydra. He has links in the main base of Beast, but they're not doing anything. He's actually forced to call them back now. 
So we see the hatchery going down here at the natural for uh, for high drop, the hatchery in the main base, the spawning pool, and the only thing that's not being attacked is the extractor. I don't know how I feel about this for high drop. He tried to do some early aggression, not backfiring on him. And that looks like he might be able to clean up a Zelda or two, but not before losing at least one hatchery and his spawning pool. Here come the extra lings. I think that hatchery may survive. We see Beast actually doesn't know what to do with his zealots. I think he has them on hold position. He actually does. So they're going to be able to take out a couple of lings here and there on their own just because of the way they're positioned and the fact that they're on hold position instead of attack. We do see everything in the main base again aside from that extractor being taken out. Zealots now just going in and taking out that hatchery down at the, at the bottom. So, you know, literally nothing can be built other than... Actually, yeah, nothing can be killed for or built for high drop, and he's going to force a GG here, and it's a quick third game out of this best of three. Good manner. I wouldn't... I, I'd, have, I'd have been pissed. I would have <laughs> just... Like, fuck you! <gasps> yeah, pull an intro.